Hey there! Friday, June 19th. Funny thing happened on the way across Tennessee. Apparently I forgot how to do math. <laughs> I'm not that good at math anyway. <laughs> but, um, when I was figuring out my mileage last weekend uh, and came up with my 50 mile goal, I spaced the fact that this damn buzzard would be running too. <laughs> so I started the week 33 miles behind him. As of this morning, I'm 21 miles behind him. And he will do 10 miles between today and tomorrow, which makes me 31 or 2 miles behind him. So it's Friday and it's 1.30 in the afternoon and I have 36 hours, give or take, to catch this dude before midnight tomorrow. So the plan tentatively is to go for it and um, do a 50K between now and midnight tomorrow. I have one scheduled run that's five miles tomorrow morning. The rest of it will be done hiking. And my beloved coach, Lauren, is informed and gently reminded me of the fact that I'm just, she had like eight U's in her text, just coming off injury. So, I promised her that I would be aware and safe and smart, and if I felt any signs of my injury flaring up, that I would pull the plug on this little bit of crazy train and take my time catching the buzzard. I have all summer to do it, but it's kind of stressing me out that I'm behind the buzzard and I'm feeling strong mentally and physically, so I figured, why not try it? Stay tuned! Okay, so walk number one complete, hike, I guess, hike number one complete. Everything felt okay, so um, it's warm, warmer than it has been, uh, but everything felt okay, so I'm going to go back and work for an hour or so and jump on a Zoom call, and after that I'll be done and out again for the next one. There's a motorcycle going by. And I'll see how things go. Not making any promises other than I'll try. And I'll be true to myself, listen to my body, and keep the long run, the long range goals as my um, primary focus. See you in a bit. Hello, hello. It is just after 6 p.m. on Friday the 19th. On my second four mile walk, hike of the night. So, got home, did some more work, had a 
a work Zoom happy hour and a family Zoom happy hour and uh, survived both of those without having a drink. So feeling like we can get this done tonight. I need to do this four mile hike and then I'm gonna go home and grab Ollie and my headlamp and head down to the hatchery for a sunset walk down there. Um, but it's nice to get out in the woods and get some elevation change. It's helping, I think, prevent the flare up if there would be one on the injury. I just, I've done so much repetitive flat mileage on the hatchery property that I think that's part of my problem. So we'll see. But so far everything feels good and I have energy and feeling like we might be able to get this done. Stay tuned. So the trail that I take for my four mile section here, um, it's really beautiful. It's part of the Catoctin Mountain Trail, the Blue Trail. Catoctin Trail, not Catoctin Mountain Trail. Catoctin Trail, the Blue Trail. And it passes through Catoctin Mountain Park, which is a nat national forest, national park. And I start at the Chestnut Picnic area and go mostly downhill to the Owens Creek campground entrance. I just turned around from there and I'm on my way back uphill. It sounds like, the, or smells like, the campground is open. It smelled like campfires. It smelled delicious. So the cool air <laughs> that I had on the top of the hill hasn't quite reached this little hollow. It's kind of steamy. Still a beautiful night. Hey there, hi there, ho there. Still Friday. It is 10 after 8 p.m. and I'm at the hatchery with my dear bud, my walking friend, also registered for the run across Tennessee. Ali. So we got four more to do. Got the headlamp on because it's going to be dark before I finish, I'm pretty sure. Or close to it. And that'll be it for today. That'll be 12 miles for today. I'll go home, sleep, and I have a running date with my girlfriends finally at 7 a.m some trails in at Little Bennett in um, it's either northern Montgomery County or southern Frederick County I don't know sorry I don't know my my counties sorry um, <laughs> but it's where um, we've done a lot of miles it's actually where I did my first trail run so um, first like mini group run that we've had since COVID so I'm excited about that and I'm excited about feeling really good so far. I have had zero hints of any of my um, injury, my hip or my back or anything. So I feel really good. We'll see. Have a good night. hard to tell in the camera but the sun has set and the last time I was here at the hatchery doing loops after sunset was that fateful weekend of the Yeti 24-hour challenge back in April when I hurt my back so oh there's a beautiful cloud I'm gonna try not to give you a car sickness but beautiful cloud <laughs> so Today has sort of reminded me of that day and the approach that I'm taking to trying to catch the buzzard is 
is very much the the same type of challenge. Um, just doing them in four mile chunks instead of five mile chunks and maybe tomorrow they'll be five mile, mile chunks or maybe there won't be any chunks. <laughs> maybe there'll be different kind of chunks. Maybe we'll be blowing chunks. Who knows? But um, yeah. That's what I was thinking about. So I've got fun and just say that that's what this is reminding me of and it's it's beautiful. electrical storm towards Frederick. <laughs> Radar says it's not going to hit me. And that was the last thing she ever said. And we're wrapping up the 12 mile day. There's Ollie with his headlamp. We're just trekking around. It was a good day. I don't really have much else to say other than it was a good day. I know I'm very profound lately. It's a compelling video that we're making. At least you have Ollie to watch. Hello. It's Saturday morning, June 20th, 2020. And I'm out on my five mile morning run with my trail girls. I'm so excited. Carla and Jen and I are out. And we're, I'm at four and a half. We're heading back up to the parking lot. Just wanted to uh, jump on and say we're out here doing it. Having a great morning. See ya. Howdy, it is Saturday, 20th. Got my five mile run in this morning with my girlfriends and heading out on one of three five mile hikes. I have 14.4 miles to go to catch the buzzard before midnight tonight. I could take a nap. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I I was uh, I took a shower after the run and was sitting on the couch with my legs up and putting food in my face and trying to just chill. And I could have fallen asleep and taken a nap. So we'll see how this goes. If it wakes me up or if it puts me to sleep. But I did just see um, a park ranger at the dumpster beside or near where I parked, not right beside, but near where I parked. And he said that um, there's been some bear sightings and activity, lots more in the park this year than usual. Um, the dumpster had been attempted. There was an attempted break-in. He got, uh, got a little bit, but not a lot. So, but I did notice that that was kind of a mess yesterday. So I don't know if it's the same mess or a different one. But I'm going to be singing some bear songs today, I think. Making lots of noise so they can hear me coming. Because I'm not really interested. I would love to see one. Like, don't get me wrong. I want to see one, but I don't want to surprise one. And so, especially when I'm sleepy and... <laughs> I might be like a walking zombie and not even know it's there. So, anyway. Here we go. I'll, uh check in later, but the buzzard hunt continues. That was interesting. Just walked for an hour in a 
pouring rain. It felt wonderful. <laughs> and I laughed the whole time because what else can you do? But truly there might be something wrong with me. <laughs> I did run into a couple with their dog and they were laughing too. So maybe there's not anything wrong with me, but it's gonna stop. The sun's gonna come out and it's gonna be a sauna for the next one. So I'm gonna appreciate this cold, wet feeling <laughs> and embrace it because I don't think it's gonna last long. Funny thing about mountains, I swear it just poured on me for an hour, like poured, the, the trail was a river. It was fine, I was, it was fine, but it poured on me for an hour. I get back to the parking lot where my car is, dry as a bone, I don't think it rained. So I'm cool, soaked, like soaked, like you can see my hair, soaked. Somehow my phone didn't get wet. I need to remember to put it in a baggie or I'm gonna end up with a dead phone. But since I'm, I've got built-in air conditioning. Sorry about that last edit. The uh, memory was full on my phone, so I had to remove some videos. Um, yeah, so mountain weather, fickle. <laughs> And yep, the, the trail, it's obviously the weekend because it's been weed-eated since yesterday. And I still have, I haven't seen anybody, so I guess the threat of rain has kept, kept people away or else they're all on the other side of the park, um, which is fine with me. So we're down to, this is um, gonna be six miles. I, I decided since I was cool and soaked to the bone that since it wasn't, raining I could dry off and get another mile in so I did that so I'm at six miles for this which means I have eight to go so I don't know whether I'll do a five and a three or a four and a four but it's happening so stay tuned Hey there, it's still Saturday. <laughs> Everything's dry. I'm back out on the trail for workout number three. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. I have eight miles to go to catch the buzzard. So I'm going to do five on the trail, another hike, and then grab Ollie and go down to the hatchery for three laps and a celebration. I'm so excited. I am over my 50 miles for the week. It's gonna end up being closer to a 60 mile week, which is probably the biggest week I've had, even when I, well, maybe not when I did my backpacking trip, but close. So, I'm feeling strong and no um, hints of the injury. So lesson learned is keep moving, but be respectful of your body and be patient. And don't try and push through stuff because it'll, it, it'll just get worse before it gets better, if it gets better. So and things will work out. They always do. So I'm really happy to and grateful to have this body that moves and carries me and heals when it's nourished properly. So I'm getting all philosophical. All right, five miles to go for this hike and then three to go with Ollie and we'll we'll have a buzzard in our net. I'll catch you later. Hey there, 
all right, we got five more miles in the books. I'm gonna jump in the car, head home, order a pizza, load up Ollie, pick up the pizza, go to the hatchery, eat the pizza, <laughs> walk three more miles, and bag that bird. Home stretch, baby. We are in the home stretch. 7.30, Saturday night. Three loops around Ollie World. And we are in the promised land. <laughs> we're just catching up to the buzzard just means that we're back on track to finish this thing on time. So plenty of work to do, but I'm really proud of myself for catching up and getting back on pace. And I'm even more excited about being healthy and able to start my mileage buildup for fall. So, yay! We're getting there, we're getting there. Three to go. Ollie's not super concerned about buzzards. He's just here for moral support. Tiny little toads. Baby toads. We are in the last quarter mile. Yay. So this week was all about getting back on schedule. And in project management, when you get behind schedule, there's two ways to mitigate and get back on plan. You either add more resources or you accelerate the effort. Since I don't have any other resources, <laughs> the effort was accelerated for a week. And now we're back on plan. It is eight. 30 Saturday night, Saturday, June 20th, 2020. I'm happy to report the buzzard has been caught up to. <laughs> Yay! After Sunday's tracker update, I learned that I was one-tenth of a mile behind the buzzard. The hunt goes on. Thanks for watching.